Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Patrick. I'm the lead editor and producer at LumaForge, and today we're going to be talking about DNX Uncompressed. In the latest version of Avid Media Composer, they introduced DNX Uncompressed as a brand new codec for the purpose of finishing. Are you going to use it for your offline editing? I sure hope not. It's really heavy. Not compute heavy. It's very light from a compute standpoint, but from a bandwidth perspective, it requires a lot. You're not going to be able to work off of a very slow external hard drive or even a medium speed external hard drive. You're going to need something fast. Think SSD fast to be able to work in 4K. The big, big benefit of DNX Uncompressed is if you're somebody who works with VFX houses or color grading and you're tired of using image sequences like DPX or EXR, Cinema DNG, any of those image sequence formats, now you've got the ability to work in 16-bit float and 32-bit float using a single mezzanine file. So no longer do you have to use image sequences to be able to get those high color bit depth images. This is especially great for Avid editors who are going to be delivering to things like Netflix or to Hulu or Amazon that require HDR ready materials that have to be 10 bit or higher in their delivery. So how are you gonna work with DNX uncompressed if you're not using it as your offline codec? The first way is to use it as your codec on import. After you've imported footage using DNX uncompressed, you can then transcode to a mezzanine codec like DNX HR for your offline edit, and then conform back to DNX uncompressed for your mastering. Secondly, if you're working in some sort of raw format, you can always do an AMA style link inside of Avid, and then transcode to a proxy format like DNX HR, and then later on you can transcode to DNX uncompressed for your mastering and finishing. Right now, we don't have the ability to output DNX uncompressed. That should change here in a few updates. And there's no way outside of Avid to work in DNX uncompressed. That's where the real huge benefit's gonna come, though, is when VFX houses are able to export DNX uncompressed so that you can import DNX uncompressed files into your timeline and cut them in along with the rest of your footage. So right now, we don't see DNX uncompressed anywhere other than inside of Avid, but we do expect that in the near future, we'll see it in things like After Effects, Fusion, Nuke, your basic motion graphics and compositing software. And maybe one day we'll see it in other NLEs, but for right now, it's an Avid-only codec. But we'll keep you updated. Stay tuned. I want to give a huge shout out to Michael Thomas. We couldn't have done this episode without you. Thank you so much for your help. If you guys haven't already, go check out Five Things series. We'll leave a link in the description below. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.